uh, their boxing fans. So Sergey Kovalev had put something down on his, you know, Instagram saying that on June 17th, the crusher will be the last man standing. OK, so, yeah, he's hyping it up and also saying that, that he's going for the knockout in this fight. Now, this whole thing could, pe you know, it can play against him, you know. So we all know that he's that type of fighter who gasses out and all. All right. He gasses out a lot. And he had this problem throughout his whole career. I understand that he has a new conditioning coach. But with that conditioning coach, I mean, this he's not going to change this problem that he has, that Kovalev has, you know, throughout his career. He's not going to change that overnight. All right. I mean, like, for example, Oscar De La Hoya had the same exact problem. Oscar De La Hoya had plenty of trainers. And throughout his career, he still gassed out. I'm just saying, just using that for an example. But, um... If he's going for the knockout, that means he's going to be very uh, active in this fight. He's going to be very aggressive. And all he's going to do is gas himself out again. All right. So I understand that he had this right. He will make his like third rematch. OK, um, he had a rematch with uh, Darnell Boone. And I don't understand why Darnell Boone was 17 and 15 in their first fight. He also knocked Kovalev down, but some try to say it was a slip. Then in the rematch. Darnell Boone was 17 and 18 going into the rematch and he ended up beating the guy again. Then he had a fight with Gene Pascal uh, twice all right, and, and stopped him twice. Now they said that Gene Pascal wanted that rematch. I don't know what for, but anyways, what I'm getting, getting at is that uh, Sergey Kovalev always come back harder in his rematches. Okay, but one thing the man must understand and the fans of boxing is that Andre Ward, all right, is a different caliber of fighter than the two men he had that rematch with. This is Kovalev, all right? Andre Ward is a way totally, totally different caliber of boxer. Now, talking about Andre Ward, okay, for some unknown reason, they're talking about his back now, okay? His back has temples now, all right? I mean, damn, so I guess what they're saying that he's juicing. I mean, some people are, are just, you know, they're putting it out there, but they're trying to say, oh, I don't want to say that he's juicing or anything like that. But if you take a look at his back, you know, showing signs of uh, pimples and take a look at his chest. I mean, look how big and cut up he is. You know, I, I don't know. This is looking kind of suspicious. So, I mean, they're saying it in so many ways, okay? I have seen, like, so many posts on Instagram, like, certain boxing pages, pages that's following this fight. People people been posting this stuff, saying that this dude's back has pimples now. Like, damn. First it was, uh, was Earl Spence's nipples, and now it's, uh, Andre Ward's back. Like, damn. And it's all coming from the American fans. Well, at least with the back issue. I'm saying, why is his back so important now? I mean, was they looking at his back during the Olympics when he won the gold medal? I guess not because of the Olympic drug testing. Was they looking at his back at the beginning of his boxing career? Was they paying attention to his back uh, during the Super Six? You know, it's, it's mighty funny now. They're paying attention to his back now, okay? Going into this rematch with uh, Sergey Kovalev. But to me, man, it's just, I don't know, uh, just all crap to me you know um some bs someone had made up another hater had made up so if andre ward wins this fight we all know he's going to be juicing now that's that's stupid to me i mean why would he be you know taking steroids <laughs> okay when uh boxing has became strict on this thing all right with this with the juicing all right floyd mayweather made that stuff popular up I'm just saying, you know, because he started with the pigs, all right? I'm not saying Andre Ward is Floyd Mayweather, okay? No, I'm not saying that. But I'm just talking about with the drug testing, all right? These guys has been strict ever since the PED, you know, had dropped, all right? The PED bomb. So that's my take on this. Wait a minute. Now, who am I going for? Because we got four days to go before the bell rings. Hmm. I'm going to have to go for Andre Ward again by decision, all right? Now... The first fight, I had rewatched it, um, but I watched it uh, on a different angle, okay? Uh, someone in the crowd was uh, videotaping the fight live, and I tell you, that fight looked great, all right? I mean, you didn't hear the commentators or anything like that, but 
it just looked great. You could see everything that was happening in the fight. All right. So once again, it's Ronell Higg, and I'll see you guys on the next one.